thanks for tuning in to this fun fact about me number two where you're going to be understanding where my balance comes from what i utilize in my practice to keep me connected with my spirituality and myself stay tuned and i hope you enjoy every time when i connect with earth i drive long ways out of the city to connect with the pure lands of earth. So today I am taking a break from society and life. I'm going to ground with Mother Gaia. I like to spend some time alone sometimes because I'm so busy and hectic with work. Sometimes I need to just be by myself sometimes. So every time when I come to the spa, I feel connected to this tree. Now this spot is where I hang out every time when I come over here. I get to see it through all the seasons that it goes through. When it's snowing, when it's sunny, when it's spring. Every time when I came here, the seasons were always so beautiful. I would sit and meditate for hours. I start off with breathing technique. This allows me to start filling into my energy centers. I also start with prayer because I'm always grateful for what is coming and always grateful for what I have. I used to be scared doing this out in public until I understand that I was accomplishing my shadow work. And what shadow work is, is acknowledging the dark side of you that has never been loved or been validated before. And that all happened through healing. And as I went through this healing, I discovered my masculine and my feminine energy. Over time, I learned to open each and every energy to be an expressive of the feminine or masculine energy. So I utilized both in my practices every day. Feminine is flow and masculine is logic. So the dance you just saw was Dancing with Flow. I just go how I felt with the music. Namaste. I'm out here with nature today. This is the place I like to go in Zen once a month. It's uh, hard to get down here because it's a little far away from my home. But this is where I like to be all the time. This is where I spend a lot of my time alone. I really love being alone because it actually helps me download and get new insights of my next goals and ideas of what my soul wants. And yeah, this is like a, just a quick grounding video of what I do. And we're just having fun, we're living, we're just finally feeling the air of the earth and not being brainwashed or programmed by just work and people in general. And so I'm out here. 
ever since I was little, I love to explore. I always love traveling. I love like playing outdoors in like dirt and stuff all the time. And so as I got older and I start healing my inner child, it was allowing me to be more grounded with the earth. And yeah, I definitely love it. I spent lots of time here. Um, I try to make it at least once or twice a month, but it's really far away from the city from where I'm at. And so this is where I like to go for grounding. So being with nature is your most healing therapy you can have during your awakening. When you're going through a dark night of your soul, you want to take some time to isolate yourself um, because when you're going through the dark night of the soul, it requires a lot of isolation to purge and process all of your thoughts and emotions. And so when you're around others, others may judge you, you might feel restricted. And so that's why you don't want to fully process yourself. But when you continue to suppress yourself and your emotions, you continue to build a very angry person of yourself. And that's how I was growing up. I was suppressed as a child. I'm thankful that I reincarnated on this earth. I'm thankful for my earth parents. Even though there was a lot of things that has happened in my past, in my childhood, that I wish it wasn't. But you know what? That's just part of my path and what I chose as I reincarnated this lifetime. And so all the family members that I grew up with and was connected to me growing up, we had a soul contract with each other. And so when we come down on this planet, we're here to break up the soul contracts. And so this is part of my journey now and I'm very excited to share with you guys. And yeah, so stay tuned for more. Just remember that we are human and we all live in difficult situations. No one's pain is worse than others because we're all going through pain, no matter what pain it is. And this is just part of life and the experience that uh, the human world was created for. And because we are um, immortal souls, we keep on reincarnating until we unlock more consciousness so then the next lifetime we can live in a higher vibration or our soul can ascend to the heaven or uh, the fairy realms again like just because if we're born to be light workers we are chosen for a reason and we're, our purpose is very strong is by helping each other and a lot of us are light workers here on this planet the awakening was here to teach me a lesson and so I'm learning how to embrace it and love it as much as possible because I only get this one life to get to experience it and the best way to experience is it being in your own body and your own life and the more you heal yourself, the less validation you need on the outside world and the more you heal, you allow yourself to be free and vulnerable um, and people around you will just love and gravitate towards you and not only that, it's a financial wealth and abundance as well too so um, yeah! <laughs>
Yeah, and I'm just here to just have fun and show you what my process was. I'm not here to try to act like I'm better than anybody because I'm still learning. I'm still a student on this earth and I'm here to just spread my knowledge because what better way is if we can all rise together, right? That's all I gotta say. So, hope you guys like this video. <laughs>